Hello everyone, I hope you're having a good day and you're staying safe. If you enjoyed this content and want to see more from No Input, please like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell. Anyway, on with the video. For a couple of years now, we have begun to open our eyes to world cinema. The fact that Boon Joo Ho won Best Film and Best Director for his work on Parasites shows this. This basically allows the audience and the viewers to experience Asian cinema either for the first time or to perhaps open the horizon to more Asian cinema. However, I feel that there is a, there is a film that is sadly overlooked. And that film is the film we are discussing today. The film is called I Saw the Devil. I Saw the Devil has a very simple plot, yet it is the way we see how the plot develops that makes the concept violent, disturbing and very entertaining to watch. The movie starts out with a snowy road in South Korea where we see a woman is stuck on the side of the road talking to her lover Kim Soo Hyun, who is played by Bai Yoon Hung Lee. Apologies for the pronunciations of these names. She is then take, is taken and beaten by the villain of the film, played by Jang Kung Ju, aka Miss Si Chao, who is a serial killer. Later during the week, we see that the boyfriend Kim and the police finds the body of his love, causing him to feel instant heartbreak and regret. When one loses someone in this way, especially in movie world, we can already tell what's going to happen. After some time off, which he requests, which was around two weeks, he begins to go on a crusade trying to find and literally kick and beat the living crap out of the so-called villains or the perhaps suspects until he finds the real one. Now to some, this is when the film becomes disturbing due to the length both the villain and heroes goes through to either find and kill one another. Yet in the same time, I can't help but want to see more due to the ass whooping our hero gives. I mean, he looks like he was part of the Bat family. Yet with the brutal nature of what he does, you can't help but question if he is going too far. Which is the main question that the film asks. How far can you push yourself to punish the one who hurt you or the one who hurt your loved one? And if you had the necessary skills, would you use it? I don't know about you, but I think Liam Neeson would be very proud. You are probably thinking, who cares? Wes Craven did the same thing with Lost House on the Left in 1972. This is true where a mother and father takes revenge on the people who raped and attempted to kill their daughter. The movie was even banned and pulled from theatres due to the graphic nature of the film. What makes I Saw the Devil different is we explore more of the killer's viewpoint and see how dangerous he really is, including his friends, such as a cannibal, which is, I believe, called Fat Tart. Even though we know how evil Miski is, we can't help but want to see how the boundaries would be pushed by both him and the hero Kim. After all, wherever he is, Kim is there as well. I believe that what makes the film to some viewers dis disturbing is the fact that we ourselves are drawn to the violence that Kim dishes out. We ourselves are constantly asking Kim to be more violent towards Miski, and we are also constantly begging for more. In some ways or form, you could say this is like watching uh, an MMA fight but a lot bloodier. We can't help but be intact with our own instincts and wanting to see violence. So when we see distressing scenes, for example, where Kim rips off, the, rips and cuts out the tendon on Miski's ankle, you sort of enjoy it, though you know it's wrong. And this is what the film is constantly trying to do. The perfect example of this is when we see how disturbed Kim is slowly becoming. 
where he defeats the so-called villain of Fat Todd and when he finds out that Fat Todd and his friend knows who he is and what Fat Todd does is simply laugh at him and his attempts to defeat the so-called villain he opens the mouth and begins to rip which looks extremely graphic and this is all intentional by the director and the filmmakers because they want you to feel bad you know that this person is terrible you know that this person is someone deserving of it but even we have a limit in fact if we look a little bit deeper to not only the poster of the film but also the very name of the film we can see that the actual title of the film gives away the plot by simply showing us the audience what we all thought of doing to the villain if they hurt our family or friends this is what we would do the film is bringing both the director and the viewers thoughts to life perhaps not all of them after all i doubt everyone would go to those lengths but we have definitely fantasized about them after all it's human nature to want revenge but it's in those times where true test of character is tested which sadly our hero fails and becomes the devil so have you seen i saw the devil do you plan on watching it do you think the poster and the title is in the perspective of the hero or the villain tell us your thoughts and keep tuned for more content from no imper Bye.